and happy Palm Sunday. For those of you who are not following me on social media or who aren't subscribed to my newsletter, I wanted to drop this in my podcast catalog for you. This is my brief Palm Sunday reflection. Today is Palm Sunday, and we remember when Jesus entered the city of Jerusalem a few days before his passion. The people exultantly shouting, Hosanna, Hosanna, and throwing palm branches along the path that he was taking. Hosanna, Hosanna, they shouted. But just a few days later, they'll be shouting, Crucify him, crucify him, and lining up along the path to Golgotha to spit on him. What changes a heart from Hosanna to crucify him? Why do we hear of only women weeping for our Lord, and only Veronica wanting to tend to him, and only one man, Simon, begrudgingly showing compassion and sympathy? Maybe all those Hosanna Hosannas weren't sincere. Maybe Jesus wasn't the type of Messiah that they wanted, so they threw him away by Friday. We still do that today. We want the church or the faith of our desires, and we throw it away or fabricate a new one when the real thing is not our heart's desire or it's not what we expect. Some of us herald the idea of Catholic but then scourge and crucify the mystical body. Maybe the weeping women and Veronica saw something most of the other people there weren't seeing. Pride has a blinding effect, while humility opens the eyes of the heart and leads to compassion and obedience. We see that opening of the eyes in Simon. Maybe Simon, the guilty sinner, realized that he actually wasn't an innocent man carrying the cross of a criminal, but that he himself was the criminal and Jesus the innocent man. The entire story between the Palms of Sunday and the Passion of the following Friday demonstrates the dark condition of man and how much we all need Jesus in order to be transformed into his image. The image of his face was left on the veil of Veronica, and maybe the image of his heart was left on the heart of Simon. But what's the image impressed upon the hearts of those who spat on him and cheered during his torture and execution? I'll leave that for you to consider. But remember what Jesus said concerning them. Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they're doing. Have a good and holy, holy week. Consider taking advantage of my other podcast, Meditations for Saints in the Making. There might be some material there for you to reflect on during this holy week. Uh, might be a good time to discover that podcast if you're not familiar with it already. It's called Meditations for Saints in the Making. There are four episodes there. Uh, you can find it on my website at catholicadventurer.com, or you can go directly to that podcast's portal site at lnk.to slash Catholic Meditations. I'll see you on the other side of Easter Sunday. God bless you. God be with you all. Bye-bye.